Well, last year the Doswell oh, Wine and Food Festival was so successful, they brought it back again this year. Well, I'm so excited I already stepped on the chef. Chef Jeremy <laughs> Luther is here to make one of his signature dishes along with Ed Cowdery, co-owner of Castle Glen Estates Winery. Brought along some of the finest wines they have. Good morning, gentlemen. It's great to see you. Good morning. And Good pardon me for, for stepping on hey, you. Was fine. you know, you're just doing a little <laughs> dance here. Right. Stepping on toes is okay. Trying to get into this recipe. It last year was just phenomenal. I got to, a chance to go out and visit with y'all. It's a beautiful setting and uh, a great turnout for the first year. I encourage you to try again. Yeah, absolutely. And we're real excited. Uh, this year is going to be even bigger and better. We've got six wineries gonna, go, are going to be joining us, including ourselves. Uh, we've got more than 40 vendors. Instead of just one band, we're going to have two live bands this year. And again, we're throwing in a, a, a nice piece of charity for the um, U.S. Uh, Equine Rescue Society. Very nice. Really, really neat that the winery list has expanded, too. It's growing in Central Virginia. It, it sure has. You know, we have more than 300 wineries in Virginia now. And, and in Central Virginia, the, you, we're having more and more come along every day. And they're good. And they're real they good. are good. All right, so we threw some bacon in there before the break, and it is yes. browning up real nice. But tell us about this bacon because it's in chunks. So this bacon is from uh, Pink House Farm. They're our uh, pork purveyor. They're in Mineral, Virginia. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just have some of the most delicious delicious pork. And it's a it's, uh, Tamworth hog, so we actually know what kind of pigs they have. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's smoky and delicious. I would imagine different pigs have different flavors, yes. just like everything mm -hmm. else, right? Yep. So, yeah. yeah. So and you actually goes, get to meet the pig? No, you don't want to do that. No, I don't, I, not yet. I want to, though. I, want, I really That's do. Right. <laughs> but he can vouch for uh, Pink House Farms, for sure. Yeah. Now, um, if you poured that into a bowl, Bill would be happy. But this yeah, recipe, there's more, yeah, right? There's, there's more, a to, more it. to it. Yeah. You're going all the way to cassoulet. Yeah, so we're trying to get this finished product. And um, the reason I chose this dish is because it goes really well with some rich red wine. The tannins and the fat of meat go really well together. So, should I go ahead and uh, Absolutely. get started? Absolutely. Somebody say rich it. wine? That's right. Yeah. Oh, every <laughs> Quality time, it's, it's a game. Every right. time we say wine, you have to have you some. You have to yeah. have some. Okay. So, once, once the pork's rendered, you want to add all your vegetables. Oh, you left the grease in there and everything, too. Everything. Cool. That's the key. The kids call that flavor, Bill. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's flavor, <laughs> that's right? That's what these kids mm -hmm. are calling that's, it today. That's what they call it today. Yeah. And you really just want to get some um, juices out of it. Just let it sweat a little bit. So that was onions, celery, and carrots. Yep, your standard mirepoix. Okay. Uh, after that, I'm going to go ahead and rush things just a little bit. But um, we got Pink House Farm pork shoulder also. And that's going to be... I can't go any higher than five on this. I was told it would mess with my microphone. It's yeah. true. So, you start getting so Darth Vader's voice, so yeah, don't, don't tempt really the, weird. the yeah. force. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, and you want to get that going. So we now. got pork shoulder and bacon. Going. Yes. Oh man. And chef, you're That's joining us from the caboose in Ashland. So yes. this is uh, kind of the style of, of what you're doing up there. Yeah, and this is actually one of this will be served on our menu. Um, we'll, we'll run specials all the time. Uh, every Friday during wine tastings, we we put a new special on. Um, we do a pizza night like once a month, and the menu changes seasonally, and we use lots of local local farms and purveyors, so there's always something new to try. And if you haven't been to the caboose, it's right on the train tracks. Just look for the big mural. Of a train. Yes. And the caboose is behind it. Absolutely. Literally. That makes sense. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> All right. more, there is a caboose behind, but that's not it. Right, right. That's the, there, right. There's a caboose. There's an actual the, caboose. Uh, an actual caboose <laughs> down at the end of the street. Caboose. Wine store and restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Don't follow Absolutely. Bill when you get to Ashland. Just ask <laughs> Just someone in town mural. and be Just like, where's the, the, where's the great it. food? Yeah. <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of fun. Of course, uh, food and wine go hand in hand. You said it's grown this year. Um, this is a great thing. You mentioned the charity partner. You're doing this for fun, for introducing folks to what's in the area, and a great cause. It, it really is. And the, the U.S. Equine Rescue Society, is. Uh, they were started here in Richmond in 2005. They've rescued more than 250 neglected or abused horses. And, um, you know, if you live in the city, you don't realize what a problem is. But when you live in the country like we do, you, you see it. It's more prevalent. These people do some fantastic work, and we're happy to be able to help them. Yeah. And I think it's interesting, too. You're right there in Dawson. I mean, you're like five or ten minutes from King's Dominion. Six I mean, minutes. Yeah, I've six minutes, it. yeah. <laughs> so, well, I said five to ten. That's there close. You go. So, uh, you know, and that is horse country, obviously, with Secretariat being from that neighborhood. So this is a perfect tie-in for y'all. It, it, it really is, and, and it's such, a, it's such a, uh, an important work that these people do. We were glad to be able to help them. Yeah, very nice. Now, Chef, you just brought this to life even more. What did you just so, add So um, I just added some spices and salt. Um, for this size pot, about a tablespoon of salt, um, some paprika, and some toasted fennel. Um, fennel is commonly used with pork products. Um, I'm also going to be adding at this point 
um, a significant amount of garlic. I'll significant. say. Um, <laughs> no such thing as too have, much garlic. Do you have a disclaimer on this? No vampires, please. And then some herbs that we'll have to fish out later. But uh, that's um, some thyme, rosemary, bay leaves. And... Um, I love that because you know what? I'm tired of fishing out those thyme stems. I have no right. time for that later on <laughs> after the recipe gets going, right? So at this point, if you want to add some wine, you can, but really it's all fine just how it is. We don't want to use his uh, amazing wine in, the, in our cooking. We'll use something else, but we're going to add white beans. Wow, there's a um, lot in this, isn't it? I bet yes, this is very absolutely. filling. The, and, and this comes from, this is a casserole. Um, the name Cassoulet comes from France and I think the, the Languedoc region. region. Um, so basically that translated into every casserole that you ever had. Everyone has their own. This is a uh, dark chicken stock we're going to add um, just to cover the meat a little bit and then some uh, hand crushed tomatoes. You're going to need a bigger pot. I know. <laughs> wow. And chef, you're, you know, this is all coming together, but so far it's a one pot wonder, right? Yes, and this then is a one pot wonder. It does have to go into the oven for yes, finishing. Yes, so it just, I think it just goes so much better if you brown it in the oven later, add some so for, for TV reasons, I browned it ahead of time. But what you would do is um, top, put a little bit in the cast iron. Preferably the cast iron should be in the oven already. Mm -hmm. So you put it in the cast iron, it starts sizzling. You brown it with breadcrumbs on it and have the oven on high. Now you had and, a little um, magical ingredient here, optional, if you wanted to jazz that up. This is my last ingredient. Okay. Um, this is gonna be some uh, lamb sausage from Sausage Craft. They're actually about two miles here from the station. And they have some of their products in the Kroger's around town. Oh, yes, they do. I um, fall victim every time I walk delicious. by that display. So that's going to simmer for about two hours or until the pork is tender. And um, then you proceed with the rest. Yum. Well, thank you so much. That Very looks nice. delicious. Very and nice. and we did quality control. Yes. Wine. Well, the wine that was the magic wine word, is right, Bill? Right. Have to sip again. Cheers. Oh, she said wine. Cheers, <laughs> cheers to the big event coming up.